Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Insanity Check. Uh, once again, with the big if on the chest is Ken, and this is Skillet step Sauce step, with the step up. Step or up or step away. Uh, right. I don't know if that's a challenge to anybody, but uh, Skillet <laughs> Sauce right here. And we're in the big room again, so, yes, you know. we are in the, the big room. We're in the big room because we have some big bastards coming in here later on. Yeah. Uh, Why they got to be bastards? Well. Well, you're going to say that before they hit. Of course. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Um. Uh, Team Wingate uh, is going to be in the house. Two members of Team Wingate is going to be here to talk about exercise, uh, fitness, nutrition. Uh, and, gravity exercises and as, as um, Wingate. But anyway, so right now we're going to go and uh, talk to Team Wingate. Dudes. More than likely, they don't have eyeballs as part of their nutritional regimen to get all beefed up and shit. But we'll let them tell you uh, right now. All right, folks. So right now we are here, as promised, with... Uh, Team Wingate. Representatives of Team Wingate. Represent, yes, yeah, not the whole team. Right See him right there. Oh, yeah, flexing all this kind of stuff. <laughs> we couldn't get the, 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 the coconut oil spray to show up you know, on and stuff like that. Maybe next time, but here they we go right need there. That. We <laughs> you don't need that. Right. Right. It's and, natural. And, <laughs> and of course, this is wannabe member of Team No, no, no. <laughs> I am I am into fitness, but I don't think I'll ever make it to these guys' level. But I, I'll I'll try. I'll he, try. He's probably been in our park longer than I've ever even thought about going to yeah, that park. So. Absolutely, yeah, it's true. Playing handball, <laughs> playing handball. But so to the to the immediate right of us, we have uh, Jomo, and then we have Doc. Now, so that's correct. Now they call them twin also. Twin, twin. twin. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is a twin who's yeah, yeah. who's yeah. not here, he's but about uh, twice the size yeah. of the twin. I want <laughs> I wanted to ask a question though because you know back in the days when people used to dance and stuff like that, they had these monitors. Uh, how did now I know Jomo is your name, but they call you twin. You arrived at your twin because you have you know your name. But why do they call you Doc? Would you like flexing oh, no. watching Bugs Bunny or something? <laughs> Doc stands for Director of Calisthenics. Director of Calisthenics. So yeah, that stands for me. Yeah, that's right. This whole time I wanted to bring you carrots and make jokes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can still play carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I love baby carrots. No, I'm not making no jokes. You flexed me. So okay, so that's what it is now. Yeah. And, and uh, how many members are there in uh, official uh, members in Team Wicked? It's, it's difficult to, to tell how many official and unofficial because we're like a family. We're not like. A group where you have to yeah. sign papers and mm. pay dues. It's a family, you know. Mm. Yeah. So we all been training together for so many years. Uh, some of we know some of our the guys that are in the team since they were teenagers. They're grown men now, you know. Mm. Yeah. So, man, maybe like forty people. Forty people. Yeah. Wow. And is there a, like a. Uh, uh, a uh, um, entry test or something like that no, in orders because there's okay. no entry test we just work out together and when it gets to a competitive level mm -hmm. you know it because of what you're capable of doing so there are guys at the top already okay. you know we do things at a very high level and there are guys who can't do those things oh, okay. but in time is that because it's you'll no see test? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, well, we preach now Pure yeah. natural, so oh, okay. So I would even hope, if it was a drug test, honestly, I would hope everybody would be good. And what we do, I really don't think there's a drug that's gonna help you. I think what it, you do. I think there's a drug that'll help you look a certain way, definitely. Yeah. But you'll look won't, won't allow you to have the strength and stuff but like the, that. But in terms of the muscle endurance needed to perform the way we perform, yeah, I don't think it's a drug that I think yeah. it actually will work against yeah. you. Now, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm glad you mentioned that as far as the muscle endurance because um, I know. You personally, I've, we've had conversations. You were talking about the guys on the internet, you know, doing all of the tricks, you know, spinning around, doing this other kind mm -hmm. of stuff. And you had always mentioned that you guys strive to to, to do things in a disciplined way mm -hmm. with endurance, muscle endurance. So, mm -hmm. can you explain the differences between like some of the other ways that guys do it and what you guys do? Okay, what happens is, and the reason my name is Doc, uh, director of calisthenics at the Agonim. You have to keep saying that every time, you know, we always do it. Like, yeah. uh, like Charles Coquist? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or a pimp named Slickback? Yeah. Yeah. You got to say the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Well, I've been filming the culture from its um, pioneer stages, right? Mm -hmm. So we used to just put our highlights up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So when we throw stuff up there, we didn't necessarily throw up the core exercises that we did leading up to those maneuvers or whatever mm. those things were and there were a lot of guys who could do some cool stuff mm. and we just put the cool stuff up you understand what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. so you just see the highlight real versions of what we were doing mm. so as the culture started to progress and it started to grow people just grabbed the flair from it mm. not necessarily asking about the the core things that you had to do to get to that level well, I see what you're saying. because we never gave that information we, it wasn't we didn't know what we were doing in terms of building a uh, a culture. We didn't know that. Yeah. that was, it, was, it was all about one-upsmanship, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, what you just did? I'm about to, you know, I'm about yeah. to show you up. So, 
the flare got pulled away from it, and now that's what guys like because that's what attract them. That's mm. what they'll use to attract others, mm. so on and so forth. And to be honest with you, there are some people who have figured out ways to turn tricks into decent routines. And mm. they're difficult routines that require legitimate strength. Mm. But then there are others who are doing tricks that, I'm going to be honest, uh, an 11 year old can do. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I'm going to be honest. Is it in shape 11 year old or just any, you know, it's probably just any energetic 11 year old, oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Could yeah. do it. But uh, that's the culture, you know. It's mm. about um, doing things at your own pace and, and letting your, 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 whatever your strength level is, is being expressed through whatever it is you can do. People who are into fitness, yeah. they'll always be able to tell the difference. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, when you see, like, if I look at CrossFit, which I think is dope. Well, see, I want, I wanted to touch upon that. Yeah, you know, I think CrossFit is dope. Right? Oh, oh, you, you just, you just, I got to interject. The only thing, I, I don't like comparing calisthenics to other things, but the way, like he said, I look at it as, if you look at gymnastics, you see the flair, you see you you see all the aerobics and everything that they do, but you don't know what, but you never see what they do to get that physique, right. to right. get to the strength, so, to, to get, get to the strength to do those things. Right. You don't know they've been training since they was literally they've been lifting weights, they've been doing squats, push ups, and a lot of people don't know that they just see it and see the body and think, oh, I can do all of this from just doing that, flipping around or pommel horse, yeah. high, um, uneven. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's stuff like that. You know, I, I always looked at that and I was like, that's cool. Da, da, da. But I also, but I already knew I, to get the body to look like that, you still got to do push ups, pull up, lift a little bit of weights here in between, so whatever. You found it up. Yeah, before you even try to do those type of things. Right. You understand? So that's how I look at it and that's how I explain it to people and equate it. Yeah, you, it's just like you just sat down and watched, you know, Dominique Dawes or, you know, I, I'm showing my age now, um, you know, get <laughs> yeah, up on that pommel horse right or, 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 you know, do the uneven bars and you're like, wow, I want to do that. But then you go out and you jump up on the uneven bars you're like, how the hell she... I, because you didn't I, put in the work. You, you understand? Because you didn't, you didn't put in the work of the, the core basis. Right. They already put in the core basis, but nobody shows that because... Well, I guess that's not like it's not it's not appealing to the highlight. Well, there, well, there are moments when you yeah, can, there are moments. but it's usually that's how it started. Usually, the people who check for that are people who are already into fitness. Okay, so they're so, just trying to take it to another level for them well, or expand themselves. Well, in a way, you think? Well, I think that the people who use this the tricks. Yeah. Their audience is usually people who aren't necessarily into fitness. It's just an entertainment value oh, okay. of what they're doing. Oh. Now, just get, if you can. Give an example of one or two tricks for people who've never seen you guys or seen this type of stuff before. Like, what's a trick? What's yeah? That, okay, you know, guys um, do. Yeah, I guess it'd like, be. Wow, it's, it's hard to to say what a trick is rather than to show you. I mean, there's anything that's. Um, well, I think I could describe one that I see. I, you know, I see you know, when you guys do the muscle or like a pull up, and some guys do pull ups, and then they'll just spin. Do a somersault. Do a around. somersault over the bar. Mm -hmm. Now, you yeah, know. That's one. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, a trick, definitely, right, right there. Yeah. I think that's that's, that's I a think trick. anything where you're like um, using creativity yeah. to create. I mean, <laughs> use creativity. Oh, re releases. Use, use, right. People well, I mean, that do releases, do releases also. I mean, anything your yeah. mind can say, all right, I want to just try this. It's a freestyle, so to speak, you know? So what what about one that, that I saw, like, you do the pull up, but then you. That's not a trick, that's a muscle up. That's actually an exercise. That's a trick for me. It's a trick for both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But that's actually a standardized maneuver right now. We actually help make that a standard maneuver. Yeah, that's right. Because when I. The first muscle up competition ever. Yeah, and yeah, we did that. And then once, like we said, he films it, and then, you know, a lot of people, most people see it. And, uh, you know, you got the workout dudes, you got the calisthenics dudes, you got, of course, the gymnasts, and then you got the. Um, heavy weight lifted muscle dudes like you know guys from Cali and stuff like that doing started to do muscle ups when it wasn't the norm people were coming up like how you do that mm -hmm. it's like it's like it's it's like a pull up but you go straight up with it and it's like how do you do that and then more people started doing it and then now it's like and, become and worldwide this stuff is not new you know? yeah it's not new this it's is old school stuff this is stuff uh, that's well, I mean, I, yeah, wasn't that like when people was trying to break into somebody's apartment they jumped up on the windowsill <laughs> and then they had to like <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying you know so they had to like is. yo straight up you hang on the window you gotta but, you know, but, but not everybody no idea. but not everybody has strength like that Oh, you understand? I, I get what he's talking about. I because no I've hung you out do? With, yeah, because I've hung out on one of them before. Yeah, really. All right. No incriminating things. Like Incrimin no. But so I myself, you know, just started looking at a lot of this stuff. There's a, you know, like there's um, the YouTube celebrities that do this stuff. And to me, it seems to be picking up 
a lot of worldwide recognition. But then when I think about CrossFit, that's why I wanted to go back to CrossFit. They recently just had the CrossFit Games. I just saw, I was yeah. checking them out on ESPN. Yeah. And I know that you had, uh, I have my own opinions of, of CrossFit, but since I, I, I don't feel I'm qualified, you know, especially standing next to you two individuals to actually, you know, to 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 say what I want to say. But what is your opinion on CrossFit? Because I, I I personally respect them as athletes, but I think they're a little reckless in a way. Here's my in thing a way. CrossFit. But that's that's my opinion. I think the disconnect with CrossFit athletes and fitness enthusiasts in general is the language, meaning. If if we're doing pull-ups, mm. right? I'm glad you mentioned and that. And they're doing pull-ups. It should be uniform in a sense exactly. where it looks the same. They're rebranding so, things, Right, yes. so when you're calling what you're doing pull-ups, and, and then I know what I'm doing is pull-ups, yeah. they don't look the same, it's yeah. confusing. Yeah. And if you're just going to belittle me and say, I can't do what you do, yeah. then I'm going to attack you back. Yeah. So I think that's where it all comes from, like where guys start to yeah, have friction between for, for, whatever, for, for whatever. What he's mentioning is like... Uh, they do these variations of and, and with CrossFit called uh, kipping push-up or pull-ups, right. and it looks like they strap the fish out of water to the bar, and you're using right. every kind of momentum yep. and leg waving. And for those people old enough to remember the worm with break dancing, when you're on the floor <laughs> doing the worm, YouTube that. I'm dating yeah, myself. A, yeah, such like a. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's basically <laughs> what they like. no, no, that's what they're doing on the that bar. In order to worm. get up, they're yeah. doing the worm, yeah. and that's what's bringing them over the bar. You're they're not the actually up. doing a disciplined pull-up. Yeah, which so is not using the CrossFit, the muscles. yeah, the CrossFit guys, the CrossFit guys, and then also I've also heard, uh, I don't have, I've never spoken to one of these guys, but I, but I saw online rather that they were there are a lot of injuries involved, it's a lot of injuries in CrossFit, right. yes. Uh, so I think that probably has something to do with what the way they teach the, the form. I think the form. I, 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 I want to attack these form. guys. No, 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 no. Listen, yeah, I, this is information, bro. This is information. I, I mean, these guys. I wanted to turn anybody who likes from, from, what from what I saw. Yeah. From what I saw, yeah. them people are fantastic we, athletes. We just trying to. We still. We don't want to knock nothing because we all convey health. That's and, right. And so oh come on, man. This is a talk. We want you to attack. No, I'm on. Because y'all attack them. All right, let's see. What we've done over the years. We've been doing this for years. Thank God, I've never been injured from it. Yeah. Or well, injury I couldn't come back from. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been, I felt pains yeah. from you know what people call overtraining because yeah. we do this every single day. Yeah, but I've never received overtraining master <laughs> right here. No, yeah. no, no. we'll get into that. <laughs> but we've never been injured where we needed surgeries and mm -hmm. you know uh, oh, six months of rest right. and things like well, that. That's that's but, something that you need to consider when you're training. It doesn't make sense, in my opinion, to do something that's going to lead you. To not being able to do anything okay, with those so muscles anymore. The rest yeah. of you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think that makes sense. And I'm not trying to attack anybody. I think CrossFit is dope in the concept of it. Yeah. Conceptually, what it is is taking an exercise, taking a time limit, and making you race to complete it in that time frame. Oh. Whatever it is. So I let's say we're doing push-ups. Yeah. All right, you give a, a five-minute time limit, and you have to do a certain number. Mm you know, by five minutes. That's basically the premise of CrossFit. They just have a bunch of different exercises, different things that they want you to do. So the concept, and that's actually our concept. Yeah. Oh. But, you know, but, <laughs> yeah. but it's, it's dope. You know, yeah. it, it's, it really will get you in shape quickly. Well, what I, I liked, what I didn't realize during this competition, uh, they didn't tell these people what disciplines they were going to be doing. So these mm. people had to basically train for every possible contingency right. that could be thrown at them, mm. and then they just thrust it upon them. So I just immediately, immediately thought of like 300, right. how they train those guys, you know, to be ready for any adversary in any condition. So they trained them every part of their body. So I thought that was fascinating. But I also, and what I want to touch upon this is, you know, CrossFit has been monetized like you wouldn't believe. Right. They have sponsorship, obviously, by Reebok and, 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 and so many other uh, mm -hmm. nutrition uh, nutrition supplements and all the rest of that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Where do you see what you do as far as in the bar workout or whatever? What, what Exactly, what is the name of what it is that you do? Because they have CrossFit. What, is there a name for what it is that you do? Calisthenics. It's always been calisthenics. calisthenics. It's always you just take it to the next level. Oh, so okay. it's, 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 it's extreme calisthenics. It's Maybe you guys should think of branding. Maybe you guys should think of like... Well, the thing is this. It's... It, whether you brand it or you don't brand it, the basis of it can never be changed. Oh no, no, I understand. You know I'm just saying, just from a just from a business standpoint, right, because so I want to know. It, it it would hurt me to know that you guys are putting all this work, right? As you said, putting all of this stuff out there on YouTube of you guys putting in work throughout <laughs> the years, and someone else comes. Oh wow, look at what those guys do, it's no, it's and no we're going to put some money in it. It's and no then, avoiding boom. that. That's how it is. That's with hip hop. That's with every culture that's been 
Monopolies. Like, they, Monopolies. they began, Exploiting they their began where it began, yeah. in the urban communities, so to speak, you know? Yeah. And look what happens to it. it but you it, guys it got it. into what it turns into. And it doesn't mean that it doesn't gain success when it's yeah. in its See, I just, I just don't want you guys level. squeezing people's heads in the street out of oh, range. Nah. Because, you know, somebody's getting nah, we, don't got no, we don't got no Roy Ray. <laughs> we don't Roy, so it's it's flat, you know? you know? Actually, that's a good uh, transition before we got, because these guys are going to do a little bit of demonstration for us. So, you know, um, but since you claim... There's no roids or bovine <laughs> oh, blood or anything clean, involved in there. What is bovine blood? Talk about nutrition. Yeah. What 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 do you put in your body to get your body to look like this besides the work? That's out? not PEDs. Well, what are these? Well, you. Put, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, he's, he's, I, like 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 we mentioned earlier. They ask me what do I eat. I, I eat whatever I want. I tell people I eat whatever I want, but in moderation. Mm. And then I also know certain things I don't have to. That's not healthy anymore for me. So I don't eat those things. But I still, every once in a while, treat myself to the things that I like. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, it's anything. Whatever. But I also tell people, I work out every day. Yeah. Some people believe you're not supposed to, or you're supposed to get the muscle rest. I said, I don't believe in that. Because I said, do you give your brain a rest every day? Some people do. Rest every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, you, do, do you not get up and walk every day? That's an True. exercise. True. True. Do you not get up and do work every day if you have to? Yes, you're going to do that. So I don't feel like... You should have to rest. You can take a day off. Oh, yeah, Everybody's allowed it. a day off. Yeah, change it up. But, or, change and, it. or change up the workout. But I work out every day. That's uh, right. That's what's up. Uh, and, Dan, what, and, and Doc, what do you put in your body? Um, personally, uh, I'm a pescatarian. I don't know if you know what that means. That means like I, you the only the meat I eat is fish. <laughs> 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 little pesky, right? <laughs> you bother people all the time. I probably do bother people. <laughs> but I eat, I eat only fish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's okay. only meat that I um, I consume. Is fish. It's fish, fish, okay. Um, but lately, especially since the summertime, I've been doing a lot of um, juice. Like I juice the yeah, yeah. fruits or yeah. whatever. And it's been having positive effects on my physique. But everything comes from the way you work out. So when you exercise, you're doing certain things to your muscles. Obviously, you're beating them up, you're tearing them up, especially the way we train. Yeah. We're tearing them up. So it's yeah, about, I got a bone to pick with you about that shit, it's too. About, it's about, Seriously. okay. No, because something this guy told me to do, and he didn't, he told me to flip that damn tire. Flip the tire. <laughs> no, no, no. Around the track, flip 10 the flips the track. and flip then 10 push-ups. And then 10 push-ups, that's fine. Right. But, but Red told me it's five flips and 10 push-ups. That's, so, that, that's what Red, Red said. That's, Red, that's, Red, that's, Red, Red's, that's Red's level. That's not Team Wingate's level. Team Wingate's level. But I'm not even at Red's level, so I went out there because of this 10. dude and did 10 flips and, and I did just 10 push-ups. I, I didn't tell I you do like it. it. I said, this is what Team Wingate does. How did you feel afterwards? How did you feel afterwards? And did it work? Yeah, I love it. All right, then. Now, that's, 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 I was hurt. Why would you want to do five? So now, you now, so now do you want to go back to five? No, I can't. Exactly. <laughs> but I was mad just... sore. I just couldn't whip your ass because I couldn't move. <laughs> right, right. But, yeah, but yeah. so you're going to show us right, some stuff. Yeah, so yeah, um, we got to right get into it. Um, so just tell us what you need. We're going to get out of your way. And you guys are going to do what you want. So I got you. Have a seat, brother. All right. How much you win? Yeah, uh, so I was about to ask. now. Roughly one eighty five. How yeah. much about? How about you, Kenny? Don't start lying now, Kenny. No, I'm, I'm about two thirty. <laughs> okay, he said two thirty, and there it go. Here's the thing, right? Usually with calisthenics, you don't even need much more than space. Yeah, Once you have or your space, own body you can Create whatever you want. All we did was come in here, grab some chairs, and we'll see if we can throw something together that's a little advanced. We'll see if we can do it. You know you can't sue, right? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> they say brothers don't sue anyway. Right? <sighs> Just getting warmed up, folks. <sighs> Neil is a say. No one sitting in these chairs can even possibly do anything. Have you even got close to this uh, skillet? Uh, yeah, actually, I can't. I can't go down and come up. I can get my leg up there. No, he goes down all right, folks. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll be here four days out of the week. Please tip your wages. Please right? tip the wages. Come on, you gotta uh, do something now, man. What you got? What you got? I do the same thing. Like, like, uh, basically, um, you know, we tr we we try to preach just balance, um, on body weight, um. Some people think you can't get this body without working out, but I've been working out for a, a long time. How many like, years? Probably 18 years. 18 years, okay. 18, yeah, I know I look young. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But you know, it takes a it takes a while. It takes discipline. Like I tell people all the time, um, you're not gonna get the body that you want 
in a year, two years, because it didn't take you to get a year or two years to get you into that body. It's mm. going to take you the same amount of years to get out of the body that you're in to get into the body that you're in. It depends on when you started. Actually, no, that didn't make sense at first, but it actually did at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it actually did. That's that's how, I'm just shaking that's, my head. That's, yeah. how I usually, that's how I usually put it. It so actually did. Those, those are just some of the um things that we do, and uh, that's some of the stuff that I preach. So. Oh, okay. You know. So, yeah, we, those are called L-sits. That's an excellent exercise for your core. And these are called planche holds. Yeah. And these are bent arm planche holds, which are... All you need is anything you can put your arms on, pretty much. You can do them on the floor. But it's just better to do it higher off the ground. You have more room to move your legs. I thought I heard a tendon rip. <laughs> nah, ain't no tendon rip. That's just, that's just the natural popping of, you know, tightness. Of death, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, right. So, okay, so, like, how many push-ups have you done straight? A hundred. A hundred, yeah. That's the most you can do? That's the most you, you can try. You, do? I'm just, I'm not <laughs> we, you can try to do more. Yeah. But uh, 100 is a good. Here's the thing. Sets it's a 50, I'm not, right? No, I'm, 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 I'm at like the max. Like if you ever test yourself, just to keep going. Keep going yeah, 100 is a max. Okay. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. It's how do your 100 look. With okay. us, it's definitely about how everything it looks. looks. Mm -hmm. So, like when, even when, even when we were just talking about the planche just now, mm -hmm. I, I was very careful to, to describe it was a bent arm planche, not a full planche. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when yeah. we do our push-ups, we do full range of motion. And it's not easy to do full range of motion a hundred times. And do you believe that shows how full range of motion looks like? Do you, do you lock out with no, you? Yeah, we do, but we don't snap, snap our time. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what yeah, yeah, So yeah. this is what full range of motion looks like. Right? Mm -hmm. Most people, when they do push-ups, they look something like Oh, yeah, no, no. But you, okay. All right? Now those, we could probably do about 500 of those. Yeah, yeah, the bouncing ones, yeah. And you know? we're not saying that those don't work. They they're just, just work. The same. They're just not the same. Because you, like I tell people, you could do, it's, it's different muscles, different structure in the muscles. Not everybody understand that. So some people want a certain cut or they want this certain attribute to stick out on mm, them. Yeah. You have to have range. And I tell them, with the range, you can, e you can do wide pull-ups. Push-ups, push push-ups, push yeah. I'm sorry. Um, which you can get the wings. Then I also do these with your hands all the way in, elbows bent in. Okay. And that will hit more of the chest area, okay. which will build yeah, more of your this. core. Then you can put it evenly in between both and still do a similar style yeah. and work both things. Oh, okay. But it took me years to understand that, yeah. that, that you just can't just do one thing. Yeah. You discover two different ways and then put it yeah, equally I cats and then make it work that to just me. That, that same sense. He told me, sense. bring them in like this. Yeah. Then at another point, he had me yeah. actually rotate my hands yeah, I rotate slightly my hands inward. Too. Mm -hmm. yeah. A whole bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, because I always thought, like most people do, you push up, you go down, yeah. you push up from the floor. Like, like, but no, that, that, that made a lot of yeah. sense. It made a yeah. lot of difference. You could do it, like, after a while, when you get bored with regular push-ups and, and pull-ups, you could also turn your hand in. You could turn them backwards. Jeez. It all works all different type of muscles. And I do. All different ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, you understand? So, but it all works different the, um, muscle, different body parts. Mm -hmm. Remember, your push-up range is but you from, have to, from where your hands mm -hmm. meet here yeah. to all of this. This entire area. Yeah, because yeah, I, 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 I've tried range. those too when yeah, they're out right. wide like that. You that's, can do that's, any push hard you want. stuff. Yeah. Anything you want that's hard. within this area. The, the out wide. Anything you want. Or like the, the Jack LaLanne's. <laughs> I always call them the Jack LaLanne's because that dude was doing that up to like 90 something. He has to yeah, still yeah. have the record for those? Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Wow. I think he did a thousand or something like that. I'm glad you, you young generation dudes know Jack LaLanne because he put in a lot of work yeah, for yeah, a lot yeah. of years. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you me. Jumping Jacks. I'm glad you call me young generation. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping Jacks. That's cool, man. <laughs> Appreciate that, boy. And a lot of people don't even know that's named that alone is worth it. Oh, he, oh, really? I didn't even know that. I didn't know that either. Then Jumping I'm Jacks was... I didn't know that. From Jack Lane. From Jack Lane. Wow. Yeah. Look at Just this. so I'm not left out here, it was really hard for me when I tried watching these guys doing this. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> so, now, now, this one I've never seen before. We're never going to see it no, again no, when this no. guy's elbows shoot right out <laughs> and skid across the floor. <laughs> okay, now, now, now. <laughs> that, was that a, 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 you can't work out. Was that a trick uh, push-up or was that... Just that challenging yourself. There are 
they those will be considered tricks. tricks yeah. However, once you practice certain things enough and you can do it repetitiously, it's not a trick anymore. Yeah, because you know, you're, you're right. Because that other guy, when I first saw, what was that the big tall black dude, uh, Prophecy? Oh, okay. Because okay, yeah. he's banging the ground and doing all this kind of crazy stuff. Yeah. But then he's on the back of his hands. This guy does some really impressive stuff. Right. I'm like, how the hell could he do that? So I just try, forget the jumping, I just try to do him on the back of my hand. Yeah. Like, Yo, there's so much stress, yeah. so yeah. I can only imagine how this guy's connecting muscles and tissues here, how strong they must be in order. Because that dude's a big guy. He's one yeah, like, he's I, I, met, I saw him in Times Square. He's, he's like cool, six man. four. Real cool yeah. dude. Six four, probably like two fifty. And, 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 that, and, yes. and that's the thing that we love about calisthenics. It doesn't matter how big, how yeah. small you are. Everybody can do. There was a, there was a cat near the other day. Remember, he was, he said the doctor told him that he needed to do pull ups. Chunky dude, about three hundred something pounds, getting it in. Well, I got a like, homeboy, Yo. my man D three hundred. I, I've done videos for him for years. Yeah. He can do, last I remember, I saw him do five muscle ups at 300 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Hence D300. Yeah. 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 It's a big, strong. Yeah, he's, big. he's probably the strongest what human is he, like, being six, three? I've ever seen in my you. actual life. I've never seen someone that strong. I actually seen him curl 275 pounds probably about four times. Jesus Christ. Wow. I think I have that on camera. Wow. I probably have that on YouTube somewhere. It's a really amazing. strong dude. Well, but folks, this is the this is the positive yes. thing. I'm sorry to cut you. Goodbye. This is the positive thing that you no, we gotta cut you, man. It's our show. No, but no, no. <laughs> this is the positive thing you gain from when you blend everything because we just promote what we promote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is free. We can go to the park and do it. Oh. We don't need much. We can have space and do it. Yeah. The gym, you obviously you have to pay to do it. Yeah. Which is not I'm not saying don't go to the gym. Yeah. All I'm saying is what we do is what we promote. And when you blend those two around, you do have a dope. Um, final effect, I, in my opinion. You do get a nice effect. Okay, okay. well, give your sites and all the rest of that stuff. Yeah, this Where is can important we find part. you? Where can we, we find you? You can look for us on Facebook, at Team Wingate mm -hmm. on Facebook, Team Wingate on Instagram, Team Wingate on Twitter. Um, YouTube is Official Team Wingate. Yeah. Official Team Wingate. Official Team Wingate on, on, you, on, YouTube, on YouTube because there's so many other... Oh, okay. There's another Team Wingate that plays soccer and... That's not us. Oh, okay. So official <laughs> Team Wingate on YouTube. Official yeah. Team Wingate on YouTube. And TeamWingate.com is coming soon. Yeah, oh, okay. we're going on that soon. next. Okay. And, um, yeah. Please, cool. if you live in Brooklyn, you can visit, uh, well, I don't know how much longer they'll be there. They're, they're in the transition stage. You can visit yeah. Namaskar on Vanderbilt and Prospect, one of our nutritionists. He works out of there. He has his own juices. Everything there is beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. Not juice, juice says. Yeah, yeah. His own juices, man. It's, it's the yeah. green juice, not the, the juice. The berry juice, not, not, not the juice. Yeah, so, papaya juice, papaya and mango juice. juice. Yeah. He also yeah. has a sorrow. Yeah. But he doesn't yeah, give it to you in the syringe, though, right? You, you actually... Nah, nah. I mean, whatever for the boat. It's, it's going to work that way for you, but it ain't going to work that way for us. It's still $7 <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, anyway, you thank you so much for coming yeah, on the man. show. It's a pleasure. Really I appreciate it. All right, man. Dre. You got yeah, the hands of a handball player. <laughs> <laughs> this is Team Wingate, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, check them out. Ryan Sanity check. You got the shirt right here. This is the twin, uh, Doc, Jomo, and, you know, the rest of the, the tribe of Team Wingate. Go check out the sites. If you want to get in shape, if you want to just live better, um, and not like some of the people in the, in the uh, booth in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, hey. Go check them out. Thank you guys for showing up. Yeah. We'll be back later. Anyway. Uh, that is our show. Thank you so much. Uh, Skillet we'll sauce. We'll be back next week. Can be course. back next week. We're out. Take care. We're